Good morning everybody, Kathy here. Today is the 8th of July. Stay tuned for some crazy issues with the house. Anyway, I thought I'd catch you up on the manufactured home and what's going on there. So, some of the weird things that happened that shocked in a way, but not totally surprised because, you know, these homes are built at a factory. The majority of everything that's done to the manufactured home is built in a factory, you know. The two by four walls, the uh, floor joists, um, the electricity are, is wired, the plumbing is plumbed. Um, so all that stuff, right? Okay, so here's what happened that I'm just, I can't believe it, you know, I just can't believe it. So I think I told you that I changed the dining room window into a French door. Not a big deal, right? They had it, when they delivered it, it was cut out. Uh, a plug was for it and contractor that I'm dealing with, he came to install it. So you won't believe this, but they wired. At first I thought it was odd that they put baseboard along where the French door goes, right? Like we're gonna put a French door in there and step over the baseboard. The baseboard's about three inches. And, um, but then when they started tearing out the plug to put in the French doors, guess what? They wired across the French door square. Okay, so the wire was going all across this French door. You guys did cut the French door out, the plug, but then you put trim along it, um, baseboard along that door, and then you also ran the electricity across the door. So now the electricity needs to be reconfigured. Also the outside light on this door, the out porch light is right where the right swing, because it's a right swing door, opens up to. and would hit the light every time. So the door will never be able to open completely. So I'll need a new kind of light or that light fixture moved. So that was surprising, shocking almost. Like, is anybody reading the design on this? You know, they're so used to just doing it one way, I guess, and they just don't even think to look. They think everything's gonna be cookie cutter and the same. Well, they give you the option to customize some things and you know, what the hell. 
they should be looking, sorry, it's so bumpy. They should be looking at, you know, the plants. Well, then um, the washer and dryer got delivered on the 4th, great. It's a full size, the washer's like 4.8 and the dryer's like 7 point something, 7.4, something like that. It's full size, but stackable. So a front loading washer, of course the dryer opens from the front. Um, stackable though. At the time I ordered those two pieces, I also bought the stackable kit so they could put the washer and dryer together, stack them together. And then I also bought the hoses to go on the washer. I bought a dryer hose vent. So I bought all that stuff. I had all that stuff there. And um, we go to install it, and guess what? The dryer's got to go on top, right? Because it's the least heavy. The washer has to go on the bottom, right? Okay, well, guess what? The plug-in for the dryer is down way low where the washer plug should be. The washer plug is up high where the dryer plug should be. The vent for the dryer is down low. It's like they were thinking it's gonna be a side-by-side, -side, but we had them make the space particularly for the stackable, the full-size stackable. The, the size of the space is perfect, but it's like there's a wall there, and on the other side of the wall is the hot water heater. So you couldn't put them side-by-side -side, no matter what you did. Anyway, I just, I was shocked. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Take care. Bye.